rapper. Hold on for a second. You know, Chelsea keep a rapper don't now. <laughs> Listen. Hold on for a second. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing, okay? We got to celebrate this person. We sure do. I know I'm late. I'm sorry. I was trying to do my makeup, trying. How I look? How I look? All right, look, we, we, do, we, we okay? All right, so listen, um, before we get into uh, the show, um, I want us to get, like, a little exclusive interview real quick. I ain't going to take nothing but five minutes of your time. Hey, Duty Low. Hey. Get... What's up, the white nose? I love y'all. Okay, Duty Low. Duty, you have come a long way from being accused of sticking nails and stuff up people behind, drinking lean. Taking Percocets and doing everything, and you have over. You, you, I hear, look, do he look healthy? Look, don't, <laughs> we spent a lot of time defending you and clearing your name over here. I don't even think you thank me. You need to thank me in front of the winos. Yes. Nah, nah I thank Tasha. You hear me? Hey, I, well, when I came to the interview, I was high as hell. She said, "Hey, look, this is serious. You need to be high. You need to go get yourself together real quick." Come back. I went to the Waffle House and got stuff. Man, you back. I love talking to you. The, that, look, the fact that the fact that you even admitted that that taste that I, I know you sober now. Yeah, for sure. I know you sober now. Real quick, what made you want to clean yourself? Like, how bad was you really on like the lean and the pills and stuff, duty low? Three grand a day? Do you know how much I'm in debt out here and you spending three grand a day on lean as I need to be, I'm in the wrong business. And, uh, so one day I came home from a show and then my mama was uh I let, uh, my mama was sitting on the couch to make a long story short. I laid by my mama's foot and I felt myself going out like overdosing. So uh I felt the strength to throw myself on my chest, and I caught my breath. And then I say, like, a day later, dirt, dirt texts me, like, bro, would you, you would, if I paid for you a rehab, would you go? Hey. And I'm like, yeah. Hey, no, and then I'm like, I ain't know it was going to be that quick. The next two days, I was bleeding in Malibu, California. Okay. Can y'all hear him good? They can? Okay. All right. This was last. It wasn't even supposed to be no interview, so if y'all can't hear, rewind the playback. Now, how much did Dirt really spend to send you to rehab? That's a good it boss. Was, it was $110,000. $110,000. How many days did you spend in rehab? 28 days. I had three chefs. I had a man sit to myself with, like, three other people. I had a pool in the back of the bedroom, Malibu, California. It was decent. Okay. Okay. And so are you clean, clean now? You look good. No, you can't be, no, you supposed to be clean, not a little weed. A little weed, but for the most part, yeah, it, it, it changed my life for sure. Okay, well, listen, next time I'm in Atlanta, in Atlanta we're going to do a full interview, okay, because I really want to know the full story, okay, duty? Okay. I'll... But, but con I love you too. Congratulations. Okay, uh, anytime, any, what did she, what did he say? No. Huh? Okay, listen, y'all wasn't even supposed to get that, so if you couldn't hear, I'm sorry. <laughs> but he clean. I want y'all to show some love to Duty Love, though. He done cleaned up his life. Y'all know I love me somebody sober that done gave up the whole culture, all that, okay? We celebrate life over here. And they say Xanax, because the report came out today. I should have added it uh, to the lineup. They say Xanax is causing dementia. Yeah. Because I, I, I guess maybe it's, you can't remember what you anxious about. So they saying that them, them brain cells is not growing back. But there is a secret to growing brain cells back. I'm not a doctor. However, I do do some research. And they say if you fast for like seven days, what's wrong? <clears throat> okay. This month, is it this one? Okay. They say if you fast for like seven days or 14 days, because I watch a lot of videos on fasting, 
only on water. Now, y'all don't do nothing unless you consult your doctor. I'm just telling you what I see in these documentaries, and they have fasting clinics and stuff that they have overseas to cure a lot of stuff. And they say that you will regrow, regenerate brain cells that you lose over the years, and you will also stimulate and grow stem cells. In, you will actually grow your own stem cell. So your body will heal itself through the fasting. So if you short on memory, <laughs> just abstain from food, definitely from sex and all that stuff, for about 7 to 14 days on water only with your doctor's permission to make sure you don't go hypoglycemic or high glycemic or none of that, okay? Or you die of dehydration and you around here trying to sue me and I, I ain't got nothing right now. Nothing. Nothing, okay? Um, yeah, it works because I've done it before and I'll be like, man, I could think better. Wow, I remember when I was two. I'm telling you, it is, and then my brain works so fast. I do it every time I, I get ready to do something big, like a project. So right now, like, I'm getting ready for my October 20th show. And I got a, I got a lot of scenes I got to shoot for this show. And it's going to take a lot of energy. So what I do seven days prior to doing anything, Jasmine knows this, I'll start fasting on water only because my energy levels, like, go through the roof. I can think better. I'm clear. I don't get tired. You know what I'm saying? And I can work back to back as long as I don't put no food in my system. And then it comes out phenomenal. I, I shot that boosted video on an empty stomach for a week. <laughs> It's just, it's the same thing models do when before they got a show to walk down the runway. They don't eat. You know what I'm saying? Beyonce drinking celery juice. You got to do something to prep to make sure you give your level best. Otherwise, you're going to get groggy, tired, Tasha, that you got right now that's about to get lit on this wine. I need to get my wine glass. Hey, what's going on? We streaming everywhere. Okay, two shows for y'all today. That was a, um... Unorthodox. I know, Jasmine, I'm hot today. I don't know what's... It is hot in this office today. I feel like a preacher. Lord Jesus, y'all have me slobbing at the mouth and everything. Full show for y'all, okay? Definitely got an exclusive on uh, Dave's Gourmet and Chef P. You guys know that we did uh, two interviews with Chef P. We did before the fame, during the fame, and unfortunately, we did after the fame, okay? All of that is on TashaKLive.com. Of course, our interview did go viral, and um, Dave's Gourmet decided to hit back, okay? And they sent over an exclusive statement to us outlining uh, the details that happened between them and Chef P and that pink sauce. And we're going to be going over their statement and stuff like that. Also going to be talking about Halle Berry and her ex-husband and hit a lick news. Kim and Croy, she trying to hit a lick. April Jones and Tay Diz. I tried to tell you. I did not try to tell them, but they be saying I be, you know, they be, the, the naysayers be saying I be lying. You know what I'm saying? But listen, the, I be out here like the kids telling all your business, okay? Um, also, uh, and, woo, we got a heavy exclusive, the Scooter Braun scandal. Now, if you don't know who that white man is, you know how cocky is, okay? You're going to get to know him today. All right, he's one of the biggest uh, 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 we're going to say pop managers in the world. He's managed everybody. Okay, hell, he just bought QC from QC. <laughs> How you buy that man name? <laughs> he just bought QC from QC. But I know you guys heard Justin Bieber has uh, decided to part ways with Scooter Braun. So did uh, uh, Ariana Grande. I don't, I don't know why I want to call her Avril Levine. Ariana Grande. Also, uh, Demi Lovato. Well, she was on that shit anyway, so I mean, I, I don't really think she needed a manager. <sighs> yeah. And uh, who else? Oh, and this Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. This all goes back to Taylor Swift because Taylor Swift tried to tell everybody and they didn't want to listen. But today, Tasha K got the drop, all right? Right from the camp. I said, ooh, ooh. Crackers is cracker right now here. Okay, cracking pockets, all right? All that and more. Okay, but before we get started, all right, and uh, uh, start the show, we got some sponsors that we need to brag about, which means boldly raise a glass, too. Don't forget, get y'all tickets to our October, uh, October 20th show. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ezra. Joyce. 
It's just, it's just us against the world. You know that, right? <clears throat> and I, I need y'all to prove your loyalty to me. Everybody has left me, took my money, and now y'all all I got. <clears throat> and so I'm going to need you to prove your loyalty to me. Will you prove your loyalty to me? Yeah? When you eat this, you belong to me. Skit Slay this plus a lot more wine spill live with me and wine with Tasha K on stage in Miami on October 20th, 2023 at 8 p.m. I better see the winos at the Flamingo Bar Theater. Grab your tickets, doors open at 6.30 p.m. and seats are first come, first served within your ticket tier. And if you think I cut up on this here internet, you ain't ready for the shit that's about to go down live on stage. Scan the QR code or get your tickets using the link below. The winos are toasting up in Miami. Purchase now. Wash my hands. Hey, y'all. Y'all have no idea what I just been through. I had to run to the bathroom. I almost didn't get to wash my hands, but I said, the Lord, mm -mm, not today. I wash my hands, especially in a public restroom. But I just, I didn't want to have to run the ass twice. Who's got their tickets to our October 20th show? I want to see ticket emojis in the chat right now, okay? We are shutting down Miami October 20th. Yes, we are, okay? I need to know who got tickets. Y'all put the ticket emojis there, okay? You know it's Wino Weekend. <laughs> we got, listen, I, I can't wait for this one because this one, it's going to be even bigger than the one we did in Atlanta. I was just in Atlanta a couple days ago. They was like, can you please do a show here? I said, I just did. I literally just did a show here, okay? Y'all going to have to wait for me to get through some things and then we'll be able to put on a full tour, okay? Yes, we will. It's coming. It's coming. Knock on wood, it's coming. But put them tickets in the chat if y'all got them tickets to the show. Okay, I see y'all. Tickets, tickets, tickets. And the moderators are going to have the links. If you guys want to join, tickets are starting at what, $50? $50? $50? $50? $50? Okay, y'all. Yeah, oh, they heavy. Y'all thick in here. Okay. Facebook, Rumble. Y'all better be putting tickets in the chat. Yes, y'all better. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait to party with y'all. We working hard on this show here. We got a lot of celebrities, too, that's going to be in the building. <laughs> Listen, I got everybody calling me, Tasha. I'm coming. I'm co I said, okay. They saw them photos and videos from last time. They was like, what we miss? You got to come see. You got to come see. Okay, listen, shout out to the master stylist. She got it waving. She got me on my blue ivy today. <laughs> she got me waving at blue ivy, baby. Listen, but broke like Tasha K. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She got me on the Klarna, the after pay. Uh-huh. Yeah. She even let me go a couple weeks without paying. She's just, just so I can get my hair done. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I make sure to shout her out and show us some love. Shout out to the master stylist, the master stylist. The master stylist, shortcuts only, okay? Shortcuts only, and you have to show up with your face already beat. <laughs> All right, let's go get started. <clears throat> aspirin, what the hell are they saying about aspirin? You know, listen, I had forgot, I haven't been doing my little health and wellness news in a minute, okay? They saying aspirin, now listen, I am not a doctor, I'm just reporting what these doctors and scientists are reporting, okay? Because, you know, I get a lot of health and wellness news, and I forgot I was supposed to add that in. But they say heart attack patients who take daily aspirin have lower risk of new attacks and strokes. So, basically, if you take... You know what? And they were saying... Italy. They took this off the internet. Let me just back up for a second. During the whole C-19 situation and the Delta Airlines situation... Because, you know, we can't say them certain words. You know what I'm saying? Or they just going to add all types of disclaimers on the screen. Okay? Um, they were saying 
Italy was able to get their stuff under control because they got hit hard with simple Tylenol, okay? Yeah, they said that because it was causing blood clots and stuff in the lungs, and when you take just an aspirin, guess what it do? It thin out the blood, so you don't create no blood clots. So no blood clots was forming in the lungs, and people weren't, like, losing their... You know, those are the people that they was able, act, you know, actually able to say. Now, there was a lot of people they was just rolling out of medical school, you know, putting people on on, on, on on machines and stuff like that, busting their lungs and all types of stuff. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of trial and error going on, and that's a lot why the, the rates were so high. It's because they didn't know how to deal with it, and they had a lot of interns and stuff. Hospitals was overwhelmed. People was showing up when they was just throwing up. Wasn't nothing else going on because, you know, when they had that counter on the TV, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that even got, oh, I can't smell, I can't see, I can't think, you know, they at the emergency room and, you know, testing for everything. It turns out nothing's wrong. And then when they do the, go to do some deep tests on you and stuff like that, they accidentally, you know, off you in the face when you was just getting a routine exam. So that had a lot to do with it too. You know, it was a lot of stuff going on. So I wasn't surprised when I heard this, because it is a blood thinner, and it was thinning blood around a time when people was was having blood clots formed in their their lungs and stuff during this particular situation that they're saying is coming back now with the vengeance. It's, so it's no longer the F word. It's now the C word, so they don't forget the F word and their scenes and stuff that they got going on. I hope you're able to read between the lines. You think they're able to read between the lines? Huh? The F word is the F-L-U word. Okay, F-L-U. And then the C is the C-O-V-I-D. So it's now uh, F-L-U-C-O-V-I-D, okay? So we're heavily censored over here. Sorry, guys. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you better have, you better know how to read and spell, okay? So listen, so, um, and this study is being presented at the ESC Congress 2023, which is being held in Amsterdam on August 25th and 28th, okay? And the researchers found that those who didn't consistently take um, the medication had a greater risk of having a subsequent heart attack, stroke, or even, you know, a fatality, okay? But just taking one, you know, one little pill a day, all right, according to them, and eating one piece of candy can save you from both, a, you know, a stroke, a heart attack, or high blood sugar, or low blood sugar. So, you know what I'm saying? I always wonder why, you know, old people keep people uh, keep a piece of candy, and now I get it because, you know, before my my cycle about to come on and stuff, my levels, my, my dopamine levels dropping, all types of stuff, and you know what they told me to do? Eat sugar. And it worked. I said, that's why all these old people got these candy trays and dishes and always handing out candy because they trying to, and they always so happy all the time. Yeah, I said, I get it now. I get it. So that's on that. And other uh, health news, okay? Hold on. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. I'm just trying to keep y'all up on game. All right. Um, we talked about this. We talked about this, but they weren't, they weren't publishing any of this, Okay. The information that I gave y'all on daily screen use, screen use linked to virtual autism in your children and developmental delays in the children, talking, social skills, all types of things because toddlers are in front of the computer instead of in front of people having conversations with them. Y'all are out to eat, okay, uh, at Shoney's and every child got an iPad at the table, not listening to y'all conversations. Kids are supposed to be trying to get in grown folks' conversations and get told to stay that a lot of grown folks' conversations, but the grown folks' conversations be so good, the kids want to eavesdrop anyway. But y'all got them staring at the screens like this. They have no clue what's going on. They have no idea on how to communicate, listen, or respond because it's like Netflixing and chilling seven days in a row, 12 hours a day, okay? And so they said daily screen time is tied to developmental delays in your toddlers. So if you're now getting recommendations from your pediatrician to go see a specialist about your child, 
just back up on the screen for a little bit because I'm sure they on it. They on a phone, they on an iPad, they on a television, they listening to Coco Melon, and Coco Melon ain't moving their mouth. And Chelsea had to put me on that. <laughs> Chelsea did. I was like a little man. I was like, hey, why did she? She's like, Tasha, this cartoon is not moving his mouth. <laughs> Kids read lips. Babies read lips, okay? And a new study found that the longer the screen time at age one was linked to developmental delays in communication and problem solving at ages two and four. Experts say limited screen time and infants and young children can support their development. They need to be outside socializing. Play dates is not enough. You meeting with Jenny at three o'clock for one hour for your child to socialize is not enough, okay? It is not enough. That is like a prisoner being locked up 23 hours a day and he got one hour of airtime outside. No. No, okay? No. Shoot, they was trying to get Lamine a little labor, but Lamine's speaking three languages right now, communicate, knowing his name, everything. All I did was take the computer screens away. Now the boy don't even want to watch TV or nothing, okay? Outside, barefoot and dirty. Listen, okay, so, um, and they making money off of this. Anytime they write a, a, a prescription for you to go take your child, to go talk to somebody, they making money. So they just refer, 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 and the referrals just get long before you know you had a doctor you didn't even know existed, okay? And so, but Italy has been on this. Italy, Italy, Italy's healthcare system is so advanced. It's not even funny. Like, they figured out how to even stop people from getting blood clots and stuff during the, during the COVID, and they were the first to call out virtual autism, which means your kids can develop autism-like symptoms because they're not socializing from using screen time. But once you take them off the screens, they will begin to, uh, uh, they will, uh, uh, what is it? They will um, float from the matrix into back into reality, and they'll be like, oh, mommy. Daddy, they're out of the screen. They're out, of, they're out of that TV world, okay? I like these little pictures that Jasmine got. <laughs> okay, and that's on that. And last but not least, I need my check. I need my check because I knew something was wrong. So apparently iPhone is about to send out some checks because they were sued. And I don't know why I wasn't contacted with this. Because every time I get an iPhone, I don't have money to keep going to buy new iPhones and stuff. I don't. So I try to keep my phone for as long as I can. But every time they came out with a new iPhone, I knew this. They would make you update the software, and they would corrupt the phones so that they, you could run down to their little store and get a phone that's on back order. And now your phone don't work. They ain't got no phones, okay? And you run around here like a phone crackhead. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm so glad that they were sued for this because I knew it was going to happen. There's a few other companies that's going to get it too. I'm going to put together a list of companies that's going to be having some lawsuits coming that I know for sure because they're doing stuff like this with these software membership packages. And so basically when you buy a phone, you buy a membership with Apple, okay? Once, that, once, they, once they come out with a new phone, which is the exact same phone with an extra camera, all they do is add a fourth, fifth camera. This phone has nine cameras. Why do we need nine cameras? Why? Why? I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> that's all they're updating. And so it forces you to have to go buy a phone when you ain't got it. And then you down at the Metro PCS putting a phone on a player. Don't act like you ain't never been to Metro PCS or Cricket. Trying to put an iPhone on a plan and your data getting slowed down the entire time. Once you use it for an hour, your, it takes forever for your damn uh, Safari to load because you over there at Cricket and they sharing uh, airspace from Verizon. So they are, hold on for a second. So if they said it will soon pay out between $310 and $500 million to millions of users whose older devices slow down after software updates following class action lawsuit. And you know what they do with these phones? They send them over to the Middle East and the poor countries and they be over there on the cell phones, you know what I'm saying, scamming them. And that's in our health, wellness, science, and technology. Oh, we got one more. Oh, this one good, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm drinking in a minute. This one is the funniest shit ever. So there's this thing called a beer tan that white folks are doing. They're doing anything to be dark these days. 
just dark. They they don't want the dark problems. <laughs> but they want to be dark. And so there's this new thing that they're doing, and it's called beer tan. It's so popular that, you know, the medical site had to put out a disclaimer on it because it's becoming so popular. I, I, I guess w- when they go out on the beach and they take in 12 packs, of, 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 of 24 cases of beers and stuff, or, you know, all 24 cans of beers, and it's Coors Light and it's sheep and stuff. They said beer tanning beauty hack can increase your risk of sunburn and cancer. Mm. Mm-mm. Ooh, that was good. They said the beer tanning trend on TikTok sees users covering their bodies in beer before sunbathing. They should have said see white people covering their bodies they, they need to stop saying users okay it's white people ain't no black folks pouring no beer smelling pissy and, and like beer to lay on no beach to be black okay i'm gonna I'm throw me up a, a, a sun tanning place and, and put my my picture out there and say i used to be white i bet you that i bet you that thing is say they will be such your skin but you know white people see me all the time on the beach they be like oh my god your skin is so beautiful i say thank you god gave it to me he kissed it <laughs> i just wish i had something like this <laughs> ask him <laughs> you got to ask him baby i don't know what to tell you okay now proponents say the hops in the beer stimulate the production of melatonin so they don't figure out a way to generate melanin through beer they're looking for it anyway, which leads to a tan. However, there's no evidence to support this. If TikTok doing it, it's working, okay? Um, this TikTok hack is incredibly dangerous and, and, and can increase your risk of sunburn, heat exhaustion, and skin cancer. And so can tanning beds and stuff, right? All of that. So, I mean, what's the difference, all right? Yeah, I ain't seen them put out no report on that. That's because it's a business and it pays taxes. This one, is, this one doesn't, okay? Um, they saying that TikTok is filled with beauty hacks, of course. Some of them are brilliant. Others not so much. But one of the latest viral beauty trends uh, uh, to emerge from the platform is beer tanning. And it's a terrible idea, so says the white folks, okay? Now, people on social media site are using beer as tanning lotion. The hashtag beer tan has almost 300,000 views and includes videos of people covering their bodies in beer before lying in the sun. Now, content creators say the hack speeds up the tanning process. <laughs> It probably won't. How are they supposed to drive home? Like, if, if I would have got pulled over after I did a beer tan, I would be scared shitless. The, the officer going to smell alcohol all over you. You trying to explain that I got a tan today. <laughs> it probably won't come as a surprise that skincare experts aren't on board with this new trend. A cosmetic dermatologist at the Dubai Cosmetic Surgery descri- describes it as disastrous, she says, okay? And he says the first problem with TikTok's beer tanning trend is that it's been advised by people who aren't skincare experts, <laughs> Well, how did see and that expert thing bothers me because how who came up with the word expert? An expert came by somebody who figured some shit out through trial and error, okay, and then they figured out how to sell it and give you a certification or a diploma or a degree in what it is that they figured out for free, okay. And so, um, that's how the world evolves. So, this whole expert thing, I don't get, okay, but I think it's funny. Because um, they kind of late on this. Because we've been cooking chicken and grilling chicken and ribs and, and corn on the cob and vegetables with Bill for years. That The way that Bill, the flavor just brown, that meat and stuff. Jeff don't even eat no meat, but she sit over there like, yeah, I remember. You know how they'll pop open a Bill and your daddy take a sip of your uncle, but then he pour the backwash and stuff? all over the grill and that chicken just get nice and grow and it just produces all types of tannins and melanin in the chicken and stuff. I said, <laughs> they around here grilling themselves with beer in the sun. You can't make this up. <laughs> Making us think somebody got a damn barbecue going on the damn beach. <laughs> no, white people. No. Come on. Now, this is not it. No. Okay, so they said it's gonna kill y'all. So I guess all that chicken and stuff we eat with Bill and gonna kill us. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Mm, mm, mm. If they like it, we love it. Okay, and I love that they want to be black. I love it that they want to be dark like us. Okay, 
They want the, they want the color, but they don't want the problems. They don't want the problems. Okay. Up next, Trump. Trump has hired Gunner's lawyer. Now this says a lot. That means that Trump plans to snitch. I should have had all the mug shots up here on everybody in that picture, okay? Because that was the only way they got Gunner out of jail. He said, I didn't snitch. I ain't no rat. The fact that the, the state dropped it, Fulton County, because you know they messy now. They real messy. Put it all on social media of him saying, are you a part of YSL? I should have wrote that skit. We, put, we filmed the whole skit for the Atlanta show. I ain't, I ain't snitch. I, I don't know. I ain't part of YSL, but that's YSL over there. Yeah, so I said this is a deal maker. This is not the type of lawyer that goes to trial. I don't think Trump wants to go to trial. I think Trump wants to make a deal, and he's saying everything that he did, he did, was legal, but he never said when he got off that plane when he left being booked in that nasty-ass jail down there in Fulton County because that thing is horrible. I got booked in that thing. That thing is It smells like piss on arrival. I said, what are the CEOs doing all day? Can they at least throw some bleach or some pine saw on the flow? Damn. Why it's got to smell like piss? You know? And No, forget that. Make them take showers. Bleach it down. Do something. That's why you're talking about this is the most horrible experience ever. I know that smell. Let it get anybody. So I agree with you, Trump. I sure do. Um, they could at least wash it down there. Now, um, but this particular lawyer here, he's not a trial lawyer. Um, you know, he did hire Drew Finlan, uh, Offset's lawyer. Uh, any rapper's lawyer. I guess he was just a little bit more flashier than what Trump wanted. Trump said he didn't want his lawyer flashier than him because he do wear plaid suits and checker suits uh, to the courtroom. But this one's, you know, he's behind the scenes. This is the first time we've really even seen his face. This is the one that Young Thug should have hired, Okay. Um, cause that one he, he got right now getting strip searched, going through the courtroom, going through the courthouse and everything, getting accused of bringing them in paraphernalia and all types of stuff to get high on. So if they lose, they not even going to remember losing cause they're going to be high off of what he done slipped them in through the courthouse. Okay. And so, but this one here, he is, he is brought in to make a deal on behalf of Trump trying to overturn an election using, uh, bully tactic tactics and cons- you know, all types of theories saying that the, the, the elections was rigged and stuff. And so um, you can expect some snitching, some 6 9 going on here real soon, okay? <laughs> and he's going to give Rudy Giuliani to the dogs. See, really? <laughs> Say, give me him. Give me him. He's the only one. I'm telling you, out of anybody that's been locked up and charged down there by that, that DA, okay, He's been the only one gonna to successfully get out. She throwing out Rico's like she throwing out candy. And so if he figured out how to get him out, this is who I would go for too. Make a deal because she takes a good deal. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on. Kim and Croy, so uh, they have, after going, filing for divorce and, uh, okay, almost losing their house, they borrowed money, got the house off the uh, auction block, um, taxes came through, said they owed like over a million dollars in taxes, uh, they filed for divorce, she said she was looking for a big papa number two, she was ready to go back to being a, from a wife to a side bitch, uh, and so after nobody, uh, you know, bit when she sent out, you know, the cat call uh, uh, and wanted to take her on as a menopausal side bitch. Uh, she went back to her husband and decided to go try to work things out down on Old National at Creflo Dollars uh, uh, Marital Ministry um, with a mini skirt on and mini dress on. I said, what is she going to church with a body dress on for? You can tell the, the ho- the ones that are holes at heart, and they say they saved, sanctified, and, and just chained and filled with the Holy Spirit, they still go to church just just, just branded as a whole. You know what I'm saying? She just can't even help it. Her husband had on a full suit and walked right in with a mini dress on. I said, damn. Uh, <clears throat> hoping to get spiritual counseling. That worked for a few. Um, and then, of course, the reality set in that, you know, they ain't got it. <laughs> they ain't got it. Mm-mm. 
And money can really make or break you. And money made them, well, money made her feel secure when he had it. But when he ran out, she ran trying to go get it somewhere else. But she realized it was a lot of years that had passed and she had been out the game. And, you know, her, 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 her cat wasn't as firm as it was, you know, as what she's putting her daughter on to right now. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, <clears throat> got to keep it uh, censored over here. Okay. I don't want to be talking about no children. However, but she grown. Brielle, she grown. So, but I mean, she, she's doing the same thing as her daughter. But now she online auctioning purses and things like that. And then uh, went and filed for a divorce again. Again. So I think it's humiliating to her anytime somebody says in the comments when she posts a purse, they ain't got it either. So and it really, you know, when you broke, it really, if you don't have a strong foundation, it can really separate people. It can separate you from yourself. It can separate you from the person that can help you because two people are better than one in order to help tackle a debt. And all they both need, and I can help them with that. It's a bankruptcy. That's it. Everything is done. This is. They'll be able to keep the house, the cars, the purses, the bag, everything. The kids. They're going to be able to keep it all. Her wigs. Everything. And she's going to be able to go to work and make monthly payments over the next five years by reorganizing and filing bankruptcy instead of filing for a divorce because the divorce is more expensive too. It just doesn't make sense. Then you're going to be fighting over, well, who's going to take over the taxes? Who's going to pay this? Who's going to pay that? No, that's not how you do it. File for bankruptcy jointly. Pay the debt off. Build yourselves back up. Throw him to the rooms on, on, on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And be done with it. And take your ass back to the house. There's a way out. You know why people scared? Uh, you know, there's people in this, uh, people in this industry still think you can't even... You, you know, never heard of that you could fix your credit or, or file bankruptcy and start over and still have good credit. I filed bankruptcy. My, my credit score went from an 800 to a 643. Right? I had American Express, platinum cards, everything, right? Gone. Just gone. Psh, gone. Right? I said, damn. Took me 10 years to get them American Express cards. But I said, but it took me 10 years. It took me a little sooner to get them now because I, I know how to do it now, you know? But now I looked at my credit score the other day. It's a 680. Six eighty. How how do I have a six eighty? Ten points from seven hundred in a bankruptcy, and it's I, I filed in May. In May, you, you think I'm lying? I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post it. I sure am. Y'all know I posted it before. I'll post it again. But that's pretty good. Don't get. Don't let me get a trade line around here. Okay, it's over. It's a wrap. I'm applying for everything with the court's permission. <laughs> but I think they can, they, can, they can work this out. They just, you know, it's, it's stressful being in the public eye and going broke, you know, because you're worried about what everybody's saying about you and, and thinking about you. But you can really use this as a moment to redefine yourself and come out better, you know? Just like how when you, you buy a wig and you wear it down, and then it's real hair, so you wash it and you send it off and you steam it. You know, so sort of like oriental rugs, too. You know, oriental rugs are meant to last a lifetime. You just got to clean them. You know, a lot of people don't clean their rugs and they want to throw them out. You know what I'm saying? You don't throw it out. You just clean it, repurpose it, put it on the floor. It smells like new. No one will ever know. Y'all got to stop this. Moving on. <clears throat> and it'll lick news. In hit a link news, Halle Berry's ex-husband, uh, I don't even know his name. Does it matter? <laughs> Cause he's a he living a soft life now. <laughs> I forgot. I know she with the black guy now. I, th I guess she don't know white men. Done. I don't let me look up this man named Jasmine. I I I don't even think I really care because you know he got he getting a check. He getting a check. I mean, shoot, everybody's upset talking about including Safari. Oliver is his name? Did he take her last name too? <laughs> Oliver Martinez, okay? He came over here seeking mm -hmm. a better life for him and his family. And, you know, he's probably as a green card holder and never knew that he was going to hit a lick as big as this. I mean, this is Halle Berry. This is net worth in the 200 millions. 
He don't make that kind of money. And when you make that kind of money as a woman, your, your dating pool is very slim. So you have to settle the same way y'all saying men ain't settling when they go pick up one of our broke asses, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and give us a better life. And then when we won't have, because we was here half the time, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we want our just do. What's wrong with him? Why his just do? His family came over here to get him a better life. He hit a lick. Now he getting eight grand a month plus fifty <clears throat> percent joint ownership of the child. Yes, and anything she makes over two million dollars. He gets 4.3% of her net revenue. Yeah, it's me. He's doing pretty damn good, bro. And all he had to do was say, I love you, and throw a little dick. And throw a baby in her. I mean, this is the baby daddy. This is the Kevin Federline right here, you know? Like, you cannot hate the game. It's sort of like, you know how white people would build a system for them, and then we figure out the system and use it for ourselves? That's all he did was figure out the system that the women built and used it for himself and got it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I can't even be mad at this because I would be cheering if it was a woman. I'd be like, get your money, girl. Get your money. So I'm like, get your money, dude. Get your money. You know what I'm saying? He said he expects his check every month and he's a full-time dad stay-at-home dad <laughs> thursday through sunday <laughs> and they have to go to counseling on her dime not his on her dime and her boyfriend is not allowed to attend those counseling sessions because the son will only know him that's some baby mama shit my baby better not be around now other that's what he said. My baby better not be around now or the Never. Okay? He gave the same rules we be given. Use the system against us. So I ain't hate now. Now, now what's interesting, where is Safari? Safari, where he at? Okay. Now, what's interesting is people chiming in on conversations that they have no business speaking on. Now, for Safari to say that he thinks it's lame for a man to get spousal support from a woman, I said, now, Safari, he said he thinks that's the lamest thing ever. How could a dude live off of a woman? If I had my glasses, we would go down the list of how many women he's lived off of, including one for 10 years. He was a backup dancer. She had to give him a job. <laughs> the man was pop locking. He was twerking. You know how the video vixens meet the rappers? He was a video vixen and met a rapper and lived off of her for 10 years and then demanded that she give him $2 million for writing for her. And we thought that he was writing for her until he started rapping himself. And it was like, yeah, say so he built her. He felt like he was owed his just due to cause, was, by, was even by prostitutes with her royalty money. And he chiming in. Some of he thinks is lame. Oh, do you not, Safari? Because if I if I had, and then you got on there and start and start digging down, Nikki, Nikki, what's her name? N no. Nikki, the girl, the 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 tight face girl. She tight and her, her face don't move, her ass don't move, her titties don't move. She tight. What's that? What's that high yellow girl name from Love and Hip Hop? And her voice don't even move. I think she got Botox in her voice box too. What's a Nikki what? They in the chat. Pull it up in the chat. Let me see. This wine already got me lit. Michael, uh, Michael David, Petite Chirac. Nikki, baby. Okay? <clears throat> 
Yeah. Yeah. And then went over there and started tricking and, and digging down Nikki Baby. And everybody was only, and let's not act like everybody wasn't screwing Safari because he screwed Nikki. So Erica Miller done fell in love. So she's still having sex with this man. Because they're like, well, if Nicki Minaj, the queen, did it and stayed 10 years, obviously I should stay 12. Now he down in Miami putting uh, Rolexes on a firm, taking them down to Amara LaNegra's twins, trying to play daddy over there, but giving his kids with Erica Mena balloons. He's a trick by nature. This is the kind of things that he do. Then trying to sleep. It's like he just sleep his way around loving hip hop. Miami, New York, Atlanta, Miami. Did I say Miami twice? So it was Hollywood, New York, Atlanta, Miami. Hell, they're going to have a, a loving hip hop Tennessee next. And he's going to be throwing dick on that too. Watch what I tell you. I said, he got the audacity to say anything about anybody, okay? Listen, we got some sponsors that we need to brag about. After the break, okay, we got Dave's Gourmet official a statement from uh, for, for Chef P coming on our platform, and they felt like she she told a lot of lies, okay, and they want to clear their name. I said, now nah, we got food manufacturers hitting up an entertainment news reporter to put out their statement. <laughs> I said, it must be serious, like Y'all supposed to be selling ketchup. <laughs> What are you doing over here? <laughs> like, y'all know we interviewed Chef P. Part one and part two is on TashaKLive.com. New comments is thick over there. I was just like, woo. Because the second part, I, I, Jasmine was like, I know you just did not say that to her. I did. I had to, okay? So if you want to see both of those parts, okay, they are on TashaKLive.com. The only reason they put out part two is because I didn't want to further humiliate her. Being that she's already going through a lot, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and also we got April Jones. I told y'all so. Did I lie news, okay? Uh, Nia Long and Ime uh, Udoka and uh, Scooter Braun, okay? And why all these artists are not jumping ship, okay? All that and more coming up after the break, all right? Let's go. As well. It's just, it's just us against the world. You know that, right? <clears throat> and I, I need y'all to prove your loyalty to me. Everybody has left me, took my money, and now y'all all I got. <clears throat> and so I'm going to need you to prove your loyalty to me. Will you prove your loyalty to me? Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> when you eat this, you belong to me. K on stage in Miami on October 20th, 2023 at 8 p.m. I better see the winos at the Flamingo Bar Theater. Grab your tickets, doors open at 6.30 p.m. and seats are first come, first serve within your ticket here. And if you think I cut up on this here internet, you ain't ready for the shit that's about to go down live on stage. Scan the QR code or get your tickets using the link below. The winos are toasting up in Miami. Purchase now. Guys. I ain't hit this in a minute. This is this is this is energy. I gotta start hitting my wine glass again. See what happens when you take too much time off work. You forget, forget the steps and stuff like that. You know, like employees must wash their hands, right? Okay. Uh, I need y'all to put what? Oh. While I'm telling y'all what I'm drinking, I need, if y'all are coming to the October 20th show, I need to see them tickets in the chat. And why y'all ain't telling me I ain't had no title in this show? Why is it almost 6,000 people watching? Ain't nobody told me I had a title. Y'all just watching. Y'all don't even know what y'all watch. Y'all just watching. I must be that, I must be that 
She ended up being able to do a show with no title. Okay, y'all don't even know what you're over here for. You know, I am drinking a Petit Chiron, Michael David. Okay, this is my favorite wine. It gets you just enough lit, okay, that you can still do what you got to do, okay? I love it because, you know, Shiraz and stuff like that, they sweeten the wine. This is an evenly balanced wine. Jasmine tried it for the first time last week and was just like, wow. Like, it is, I got to tell you, hands down, this is like an everyday wine for me if I could drink it, okay? But I like a nice Sauvignon Blanc, but this one is good. I had just a little bit left in the bottle, and I decided to just kill it for this show. Then we'll pop a fresh bottle when we head over after this show to TashaKLive.com, okay? Um, we got an exclusive on uh, Krishan and her sister, Tasheki, the nephew, who else? Also going to be discussing, there's some other, oh, 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 worst mother of the year. Okay, Carlissa. I said, we, we got Blueface and Krishan's family. Just, they all belong together. This is why they're there. This is why she kissing all on his arm like this now. Krishan with Blueface. After she said she wasn't going back. She said, I miss you. I miss you. Blue. Blue. He's sitting there trying to do an interview and she. Uh, <clears throat> Oh, okay, 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 okay. Mm, All right, let me pull up this statement. So, just in case you don't know, we interviewed last year, but we just put out the interview. Uh, Chef P, this is the creator of the pink sauce. That sauce that went extremely viral, okay? She had people from all over the world trying this sauce, ordering this sauce. She was shipping this sauce. Uh, people didn't know what was in it. People were scared. I don't know why they were scared of a pink sauce, and they've eaten green sauce and black sauce before. <clears throat> it came to a molded and stuff. I mean, she didn't have no preservatives in it. She was making it fresh. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, it, it garnered her a ton of attention, a ton of backlash too, okay? And um, through that, she ended up getting a deal uh, with Dave's Gourmet, and they decided to come up, to come take over the manufacturing and distribution. Uh, they did sign a contract with her and decide to market and produce the sauce, okay? And so um, it is it's a fairly new sauce, and it takes time for it. And this goes for any business, okay? I was just, I, I just had an interview. Shout out to Inside the Vault, uh, Ash Cash, okay? He called me down to pick my brain about, you know, being a social, you know, being on social media and being a brand and building a brand and, you know, uh, watching people try to come forward and take it down and watching it suffer and then we try to build it up again and, you know, just going through the ins and outs of, of having a business. And typically, um, and a lot of business owners that are watching this, um, can attest to this, uh, sometimes businesses don't even make it past the first year, okay? And hers was a trend. It was kind of like it was a cool thing to do. Everybody's, like, you know, making these videos on if they have the guts to try this mysterious pink sauce, and people are giving these reviews on it. And then, of course, you got the naysayers that are trashing it. All of this comes with being a brand, even with me, okay? You got people that afford me, people that are trashing me. That's just the nature of it, all right? But through the process, you keep going. Now, some things don't stick. This stuck, because it's still here for now, okay? Now, I'm not wishing nothing bad against her, but she's really only a year and a half into marketing this sauce. Because she's only had her deal for less than a year with Dave's Gourmet. Tasha K's brand stuck. Do you know why? We made it past the first, second, and third year. When you make it past three years in a company, statistics show that you will make it to 10. If you make it to 10, statistics show you're going to easily do 20. If you can make it to 20. Just like when you go into restaurants that you was at when you was a child, and now you grown and it still got the same seats. Same, same carpet, same salt and pepper shakers. You don't want to eat that no more. Because you be wondering, like, how the hell did I eat here when I was a child? Well, when you was a child, everything was new. <laughs> now that it's 20 years old, you're like, these salt, these salt peppers and shakers don't even drip. And they got mold inside. And, you know, the cook's back there scratching their ears. You know, you, <laughs> you got to constantly evolve. It is, it is everlasting. And a lot of times... You don't know if you're going to make money or not. You know, there was plenty of times here I wasn't making money. I wasn't even taking a check, paying everybody else but myself. You know what I'm saying? So, like, those are the things that come with business. 
You just got to be in it for the long run. And you and you're and you're going to have hard times, but for her to launch such a new sauce and she claims out of her own mouth they gave her $100,000 for the sauce, you know, and have the receipts, you know, gave them to us as 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 receipts to show that she's been paid. Said that I guess once the money got low when she spent it and didn't have any outside income come in because she is she was a private chef she did have her own business and restaurants she talked about all that in the first interview that we did and a lot of people have been to her food choice and said that she's an excellent cook all right all of this and now things have hit like you know rock bottom sent me a picture saying she had no food in her refrigerator you know me I'm a mom. When a mom tell me she can't feed her kids, I'm going to cash up you $100. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go get them kids something to eat. But then once she started telling her story, I was like, this is not making sense. I said, so you signed a deal with Dave's Gourmet. They gave you an advanced sign-on bonus to do it. They took over the manufacturing and the distribution. And now that the money is not rolling in like you think it's supposed to be because your stuff is all in stores, but it was reported that even when they rolled it out in stores, they had to market on clearance because nobody's buying it. Now you're thinking that you hit the jackpot and you ain't got to work no more. And so you're like, well, I'm working on my sauce. And I'm like, no, you're supposed to be working on the next thing. You let Dave's Gourmet do the hard work. You help throw some ideas. You let them pay for it. And you sit back and collect your check and reinvest it into your life and your kid's life and create other sauces. But instead, she wants to give the money back to them for marketing. I said, you can't make this up. When I tell you it was such a confusing and draining interview, I just had to end it. I, I just had to end it. And I was like, she got these children sitting up in Starbucks talking about they ain't got no internet, no food in the house. She facing eviction, all types of stuff. And she paranoid and can't go to work. Y'all just got to watch it. It's on TashaKLive.com. But Dave's Gourmet logged on to TashaKLive.com to watch the interview. Okay? <laughs> and they sent me an official statement. And I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep communication open in case I want to create a sauce or a product or something. You know, they, they're, they're going to want to do business with me because I understand how to do business. But they wanted me to put out their official statement on their, be their behalf. And so they reached out. Um, the actual, I don't know if this is uh, the, the, the chief of marketing, okay? Um, but he said, I'm writing you to provide a statement from Dave's Gourmet regarding our post that we did with Chef P, Okay. And we held Chef P, we held Chef P accountable because, you know, black folks, they think, you know, you, you just because you signed a deal and you in stores, you got some money. No, you don't. It takes time. It takes years to build that up. Catch up took years. Then you got competitors that come in and do organic catch-ups and all types of kids. No, you're supposed to just keep building. Now, Dave's Gourmet would like to share a statement with you, Tosh K. <clears throat> White people said, Dave's Gourmet has adhered to the terms of the agreement with Mrs. Shaw. We disagree with Mrs. Shaw's allegations, they say. Dave's Gourmet has paid Chef P over $120,000 to date, and it continues to make all payments as due and on time based upon the terms of the contract. Now, she claimed in the first interview she had a lawyer present when she, when she uh, uh, signed the contract. Then in the second, because uh, you can't remember your lie. Remember when you lie, you can't remember the last lie you told. So it's just best to tell the truth, all right? So second interview, she says there was no lawyer present, and she needs a lawyer. And then she did admit she didn't want to tell me that they gave her $100,000 and that she spent it all. Didn't even say nothing for her kids. Just spent it all, okay? And she don't want to go to work because she's paranoid. Look, 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 let me keep reading. Said it has paid Chef P. Over $120,000 a day and continues to make our payments as due and on time based upon the terms of the contract. We've offered to reimburse Ms. Shaw for her lawyer's time to go over the terms of the agreement and how it relates to the payments that were made to Mrs. Shaw. She indicated that she's open to an amicable, a amicable resolution of the dispute and the parties are in discussions. Okay? So they're basically in discussions with her and whatever lawyer they pay for to help her to understand the contracts that she didn't read because she didn't have no lawyer present. Additionally, we have shared documents with you and Insider to verify the funds sent from Dave's Gourmet to Chef P today. We hope that this information will provide more insight. You can view these statements here. And basically, they put it out. 
to prove that they gave it to her. And I don't think that we was ever disputing uh, her getting paid. It was, you know, basically, why is she not making more? And we're like, girl, the shit is on clearance when you walk into Walmart. And besides, it takes time. You have to understand that. Like, so I'm like, but why don't you create another sauce? So basically, she she banked on this sauce, making millions of dollars, but she doesn't understand how manufacturing works, how breaking a product works. It's like breaking an artist. They put millions of dollars in breaking an artist. And the artist decides not to go on tour. And make any of the money back that they spent. Companies fuck. Fucked hard. Because people don't understand business. You know? Uh, every time I got a check, it's still like that. It, everything goes back into the business. I don't keep shit. I'll be begging for clothes and stuff and earrings and stuff. And stuff like that. I'll wear your stuff for a shout out. Please. Just don't make me go to H&M no more. But I love H&M though. I ain't gonna... And they ain't even pay me to say that. Okay? But listen, um, at the end of the day, I, I do wish Chef P the absolute best. She is a black woman. She's a black mother. She's a black entrepreneur. And bottom line, you just got to read the fine print. You got to understand that this is reality. Just because you have a sauce in the store doesn't make you an instant millionaire. It costs money to make money. And they are still breaking it. And let's not forget, it had a lot of bad reviews on social media. And they're still trying to break through it. We're trying to rebuild it, which they can because it already got millions and millions of impressions. So there's going to be somebody out there that saw something great about it. But then there's going to be somebody that saw bad. But because there's millions of people and billions of people in the world, they're hoping to reach a market for the peak sauce. Like there's a market for ketchup in America and a market for mayonnaise in Paris and Europe. Everybody eat their french fries with something different. Moving on. Up next. Now, I told y'all that this right here was not going to last, okay? Because Tay Diggs likes to party. He loves to have a great time. He doesn't like to take situations too serious. He's only had one racially ambiguous wife. He doesn't plan on having another one because he's still playing spousal support to that wife. And he's not going to take on a woman with two children that he's going to have to take care of if she decides to leave, okay? But his mother did come in spirit and say that she was the one, but he just hasn't um, decided to make her the one yet, even though he said, you know, probably during one of his trips on shrooms, allegedly, or marijuana, edibles, you know what? Let's let the baby tell you. Because you know kids know all the business. See, her kids didn't have a lot of screen time coming up. Her kids weren't sitting. I got to get April that. She's a great mother. Her kids weren't sitting on iPads. And her kids were doing what children are supposed to be doing. Meddling in grown folks' business. And getting told off for it. But the problem is she didn't slap them. You got to... When children are that much in your business, you got to slap the shit out of them. You know what I'm saying? You don't let them continue to just tell your business on live. And, they, and first of all, if you grew up in a household like we all grew up in, you ain't supposed to tell nobody outside of that household what the hell go on in your house, okay? Can I get some paddles, some switches as emojis in the chat? You don't get on no live and tell your mammy business. But in this situation... <laughs> We're going to make an exception because Tasha K told you that this was just for fun. Because Tay Diggs, according to the strippers in New York, loves to ski. Screw. And suck. Roll this footage. Turn it up. I can't. What the hell? It ain't playing. Did we slap the kid already? Bring it in and put it back. Hold on for a second, y'all. We're experiencing some technical difficulties. Okay, so what you're going to see in this video that we're going to add in, this is April's child. Not staying in a child's place, telling us all the wine that we already knew. Okay, especially after she was trying to flash that fake red and ring. Uh, on live trying to you know allude to them being engaged but it was a it was a lifetime peacock movie engagement um 
And now th- things got a little too serious. He's working now. He's working. He's not able to, to come around. You ready? Okay, Let's Dr. go. Camel about you drinking, about Tay smoking weed. He don't smoke weed. He has. Did he ever smoke in front of you? Mm-mm, exactly. But I smelled it. He it does was- edibles, baby. Edibles. Stop saying that on a live. He don't smoke weed. I'm telling y'all the truth. No, you're not. That's edible the weed. So. Tay don't smoke weed. He doesn't put a weed to his mouth and smoke it. That's not what Tay does. He will do a weed edible. There's a difference. Everybody yeah. say, where is Tay? Yeah, here. Where is he? Yeah, here. He working. He ain't working. Yeah, he ain't here. He's working. <laughs> he's not working. He ain't here. We ain't know specifically <laughs> if he's working or not. Did he text you? Yes. Did, no. Show me the text. Oh my god. He just sent me a video yesterday, baby. We, me and Tay talk all the time. Mm-mm. <laughs> it's only for y'all. She's lying. <laughs> lying. Megan, do you want me to show you the text? Show me. Hold on, guys. Hold on. The fact that she proved that. All the time. That was yesterday. Not today. We don't. Uh, I thought you were talking about you when, talk to him every day. Mom. No, you don't always have to say talk to everybody every day. But I have a sleepover at Paris tomorrow. Uh, you, you need to ask your daddy. Okay, I'm gonna uh, ask. Mom, you want me to eat it? My son just ain't in. What are you talking about? Because you ain't talking about the truth. What? My dog raised you to be a better boy. Can- where he at? He ain't here. Where he at? He ain't here. Baby, we just talked yesterday. He just sent me a meme on TikTok. He ain't here. Stop lying. The fact that he caught, first of all, there was a lot of things wrong with this video. Number one. Number one. See, this these 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 liberal parents. So, you know, I, I do give her that she, you know, allowed her children to, you know, conversate. But, you know, children got to know a child's place. First of all, he had, she had no business having that child on that live. Second of all, you had no business proving yourself to a child. But we know she wasn't proving herself to a child. She was proving herself to us because she knew at that moment that video was going to go viral, okay? And people were going to be asking questions. But, but we have not seen them putting up no videos in no CVS pajamas sliding around on her floors with no furniture in the house, okay? I was just like, the man can't buy you a couch from rooms to go or something to sit on? Something? Y'all used to go a lot, but he's bored. See, the problem with creative men like this, they get bored. Mm-hmm. That's what they do. Uh, there was another thing that I had a... Uh, uh, it, was, it was a child. It was a child repercussion thing. This soft parenting... You know, you calling your mama a lie? I couldn't even open my mouth to say, mama, you telling a story. If I even, she even got weird that I was about to say you a, my ass was on the ground. I don't know about y'all. It, it wasn't coming out. Ma, I just, you can't even say, mom, I don't even think that's accurate. You can't say nothing like that. You just got to be like, okay, mom, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The fact that he called her a lie and the fact that she felt like she had to prove herself. I said, April, what are you doing? I know Omarion just sitting back. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> but see, when you date these creative men, though, and you don't continue to be creative in a relationship, they get bored. That's why a lot of actors and actresses and stuff don't stay married long because they get bored really easy. You know what I'm saying? They're not very structured people. That's why they have these jobs that require them you know, to go into different characters and spaces in their mind to tap into things just to stay sane. Other than that, they wouldn't be considered normal people. So, you know, I'm like that too. If, if I'm doing the same thing every day, it's not going to work. It's not going to work out. I got to have something that stimulates my creativity in all ways, okay? And so, um, yeah, and so I guess between the edibles and, you know... Uh, coming in and out between the highs and lows, he realized that it was the same pussy every day. And he needed a break. He just needed some space. You know, he's taking his tie, doing it. You know how he do? Oh, yeah. oh, 
I just think we need to take some space and chill. Let's not text every day. Let's, you know, feel like dad around here. And yeah, let's, and I, and besides, I got a lot I got to work on. And, and you do, you know, you got to go back to the hospital. You know, COVID rates are going up and I, I'm sure they need you there. I know what they told them. I know what they told them. I said, this, you cannot make this up. Well, listen, April, April, mm-hmm. this is why single mothers don't date. This is why you hide who you're screwing from around your children. This is why you don't bring nobody around your children until it's time for marriage. Not, oh, we engaged and we're going to get married three years later. Oh, we engaged. The wedding date is set in two months. Meet your new daddy. Or you wait until the children are 18 and then you decide to marry. But you don't bring them around the house and they get used to your kids. Your kids get used to them and when they disappear, this is what happens. They get angry because that little boy sounded like he was angry that he wasn't around you and kind of wanted to defend you, April. But maybe he was hoping that you would get the memo. He's not here, mommy. Stop waiting on him to come by. He's gone. He ain't coming back. And if he do come back, I'ma beat his ass. I'm gonna kick him Tay Tiggs in the knee. Yeah, I already knew what this was. I knew what this was, you know? Now she had bagged the old one from Hollywood. Didn't even realize he he's skiing back. He's skiing. He's the only thing she bagged was somebody that liked to ski with bags. <laughs> Moving on. That's my opinion. <laughs> Wine gossip comedy. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what the script was told me. Okay. All right. Uh Neil Long. Neil Long is now, after being in between jobs for a very long time, um, she didn't have to work because, I mean, head coach of an NBA team, that's a lot of bread. Millions of dollars a year, you know? She didn't have to work. She's near long. She had a baby. She's been engaged for 15 years, and now all of a sudden, the man decides to just take just a little cat on the side because you was in L.A. for five months. He got tired of jacking his thing. He just needed something. So he decided to go get a married chick that wouldn't want no commitment from him because he was already committed to you. Got caught simply because he was horny. He was just being human. It's a lot of stress, team losing. Now you leave because the only reason you're leaving is because he got, it's publicized that he's cheating. He's been cheating the entire time. You just mad that it got out and you kneel along and it devalues you. And your brand, man, nobody cheats on me. Nobody marries you either, apparently. How are you near along? How are you near along? And it takes that long to get you to jump across the broom. And it takes you that long to move from L.A. to go be with your man. Because you're chasing your career. They threw you away and picked you back up. When you started looking like a mother, now you're playing mama roles. But this was your stability and your son's stability. Now you want to take the son because you don't want your baby around any other women that he bring around. I said, Nia, not you trying to take full custody. Not you trying to. Well, maybe she got a point because she had him the entire time while he was a basketball coach. So now she's going to use that in court. But he paying for him. He paying for you, too. I know you feel betrayed. (laughs) I know you feel just angry. You're grieving right now, but I think you're making a harsh decision. You ain't had no problem with this man being a father the entire 15 years you've been engaged to him and screwing him and letting him screw behind your back as long as don't nobody find out. And now you want to come for his fatherhood. Right after Father's Day, you ain't shit. Nia, this is... Nia, this is not a good look. Not a good look. It's giving bitter. 
That man ain't never been on child support the whole time y'all been together. Now you want to put him on child support and take full custody all because somebody else is there full time now. Next woman he married ain't going to have no job. I already know. And she going to be willing to change her last name. But she ain't holding on to a dream. Friday been over. Friday not coming back. They're not giving it no more money. They won't even let Ice Cube own his own movie. Those days are over. You ain't Viola Davis. You kneel along, you play one role. Girlfriend, side bitch, or wife. That's it? That is all. Talking about uh, uh, Avatar didn't call her. <laughs> Man, Nia. Nia. <laughs> How dare you say Avatar didn't call you? Avatar ain't never called you, sweetie. When you start doing kicking and jumping in. But I, I wasn't given a chance. I didn't even know you went to the gym. That's time I saw her rock was in Friday. You look a little thick side. You look too thick for that avatar suit, ma'am. <laughs> Come on now. You, you, got to be re, you got to be realistic, Nia. All I'm saying is you should have stayed your ass at the house. This man didn't cheat on you as a husband. He cheated on you as a boyfriend, okay? A long-distance boyfriend. And if you are in a long-distance relationship and don't think, that your significant other is hitting something for the stress release, you're crazy. Jokes, you know what? Let me just let y'all live in delusion with her. Moving on. Coming for this man, father. The man's a great father. Stop, 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 stop. Now he's gonna be feminine. But, I don't know why her son gave me Amber Rose son for some reason. All right, here we go. Last but not least, remember after this, we are heading over to TashaKLive.com, okay? We got an exclusive on Krishan's sister and this whole Heels Have Eyes family, okay? Um, I did have somebody that, that called me that was close to all parties to let me know what happened in that house when the alleged touching was going on between family members and while all of a sudden uh, one of the family members is coming out saying that five family members touched on him when he was a child, okay? And so we're going to discuss that. Also going to be discussing, what else? There's another exclusive. Oh, Carlissa. Carlissa got jacked by her uh, first child, second child, and now third child. But this is, this is uh, I can't even repeat the things that the, the young man said, okay? Yeah, we reached out for an interview. We working on it. We trying to work on it, okay? So, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to you on that. But we will be reading and going through thoroughly exactly what he said about his sorry-ass mammy, Carlissa. Okay, um, the only Mother's Day gifts that she got this year. All right. Uh, also, who else are we going to be discussing? Glorilla. Okay. Uh, ooh, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Thanks, Jasmine. You be thinking for me. Oh, Brazil and this new LGBTQ law. Okay. Uh, Lizzo is now deciding to sue back. Definitely going to be discussing Funky Donnie, uh, Funky Donnie versus Chloe Bailey. I did speak to Funky personally today. And uh, Drew Sedora, Ralph Pittman, and Ty Young. Okay, I thought Ty was a man too, right? Mm -hmm. No, it's a whole woman. All right, uh, definitely going to be discussing all that, Burner Boy, and much more coming up, okay, on TashaKLive.com. If you want to subscribe and see the second part of the show, the uncensored raw version, okay, uh, that is not commercial friendly, please feel free to join us live over there, okay? Um, at right after this show, okay? And so you just go ahead and subscribe via the website. Then you could download the app and then stream anywhere, okay? Hope to see you soon, okay? And if I didn't tell you thank you uh, to any newbies that are over here, thank you so much, all right? And we're going to go ahead and get into this last topic, and then I'll, I'll sing you on your merry way, okay? Uh, so, you know, I listen, I have been trying. Listen, when I tell you, I said, Jasmine, how long have I been trying to get this white news? You know, the car, they get mad when I get the Kardashians exclusives when, 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 you know, Kylie Jenner ain't no billionaire. They say, how does, that is, how does black bitch find out that I ain't a billionaire before me? And shit. We know, I know broke people want to see them. It take a broke person to know a broke person, you know? Uh-huh. Mm. Mm. Now, Scooter Braun. 
Scooter Braun is a super manager. Okay, uh, has a management uh, company. Has managed Justin Bieber, uh, Ariana Grande, Demi Lovato. Managed her through a crackhead process. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift's tour is neck and neck with Beyonce right now. You know, these are just just some of his roster. Just recently bought QC Quality Control uh, for three hundred million. They were severely in the red and couldn't hold their label and would have went under because all of their artists um, flopped. So they decided to just sell them off to the white man, collect the money, and they're still gonna manage some aspects of it, but they can't manage to keep little baby out the DMs of women that are claiming that they're pegging him. And so sales and, and, and tours have been slow for QC, okay? Now, uh, it just hit the blogs the other day that, you know, Scooter Braun, one of the super managers who got a roster like this, everybody's jumping ship. Justin Bieber, you know, area, uh, 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 what, God damn it, Ariana Grande, you know, Demi Lovato, she been jumped ship when she jumped, you know, on the on the drug dealer, dick to ski, and then of course Taylor Swift was the first to kick this whole thing off because he was really trying to cover Taylor Swift. He held up her career, was trying to buy her entire catalog, and she had to fight to keep her music because he was coming hard for her, you know. And so now to see her flourishing the way that she's doing now, it's like wow, you know, because he was trying to to get a piece of that too. And that's what he does. And so uh, after all these artists have announced, and I think Ariana Grande is the only one that hasn't officially came out to say um, that she has parted ways, but it's coming. And if you hear it, you heard it here first on Unwind with Tasha K, uh, here live, okay, instead of all these other sites, you know. Um, don't worry about how I got the cracker news. I just got it. Why, why news? I just got it. My ears are to the straight. Um, apparently he's been making bad deals and this is how the deal is structured. So, um, his name rings so many bells. Now, if somebody calls like me, I'm broke though, but imagine if I was wealthy and I said, I want to do a makeup line or something with Ariana Grande and I have to call her manager, Scooter Braun. And he said, and I say to Scooter Braun, I want to do a makeup line with Ariana Grande. He says as a man, what he's supposed to say as a manager is, okay, I'm going to present the deal to her. I'm the manager. I get 15 to 20%. Boom. She takes the rest. You guys split your profits. Everybody's good here. What he's been doing is charging a 2 to $3 million fee just to do the deal. And instead of Ariana Grande or Justin Bieber or Demi Lovato getting net shares in the company profits for helping to launch the company because they do things like this. The, 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 you know, new makeup companies will come and she'll put her name on it, but really somebody else owns it and they give them a profit share. And so he'll say, I need two, $3 million. I need a percentage of the company. And then we'll give her a percentage of what the revenue share is. And we'll give her a little advance. So he's making more money, essentially, than his artist. And his artist is the one that has the following. But he's getting greedy. Now, none of his artists are on tour. None of them. Taylor Swift been left that bag. She is the highest grossing artist that has cut, like, has parted ways from him. Of course, all of this is allegedly. And if you want to come sue, I ain't got no money. Read the blogs. Okay, get in line. Now, I'm just reporting on what sources close to the camp have told me, okay? And so instead of these artists, you know, making the money that they should be making, having the followings and the fan bases that they have, why isn't Ariana Grande on a tour? Huh? It doesn't matter. She can still, she can still go on a tour. Why isn't Demi Lovato's brand out of rehab. His face is now unparalyzed. He can sing now. And he could have lip synced on that tour, but he didn't. You know, Justin Bieber. Now, apparently, Justin Bieber is the one that's the most mad at him. And he's angry. He can't stand it. 
He's the one giving all the updates to TMZ and all of that on what's going on here because he got over the most. And you know, it's funny when you see white people mess up with other white people. It get dangerous out here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But yes, they're all jumping shit because they figured out that he's been doing deals behind their back, keeping the money that should be going to them. And only giving them a portion of the revenue share. And you don't know if a company is going to do well. You don't know that. Giving them small advancements and then they're finding out from other people that these deals are taking place on behalf of their names and all of the proceeds are going to his pocket. But he don't give a shit because he feels like he made them. And if I made you, I can break you. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see because once, you know, they start to part ways. You know what comes next? Can you guess? It's called lawsuits. It's called lawsuits, okay? And so um, I just hope he didn't give all the $300 million over to, to QC so fast to, you know, a company who had a, a dead artist roster. I mean, little baby spending all his little ticket money getting fingered in the butt. Instead of, you know, that he's making from his unsold out shows, you know, and things like that. So it's going to be interesting watching this develop, okay, in white people news. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, I hope that you subscribed on Facebook, YouTube, and Rundle, Rumble, okay? If you have tips on your favorite celebrities, please continue to hit me in the DM as you've always done. If you want to advertise on the platform like I'm advertising this beautiful dress, we'll put the link below in the chat, okay, um, of who gave me this dress, all right? All right, please feel free to hit me at ads at TashaKLive.com. Also, I forgot to even do happy hour tonight, but it's okay. We'll do it. We'll do it Monday. We'll do it Monday. Happy hour is Monday, okay? Because I was supposed to be incorporating happy hour during the show, but that, don't worry. Don't worry. I was a little tipsy and I ran over, okay? So we'll get that next week. Sorry about that. Um, also, uh, guys, what the hell was I going to say? Because I got off track. Got off track. Jasmine, 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 Jasmine. Uh, tips, advertisement, What? Oh, don't forget, get your tickets to the live show October 20th. We are shutting down Miami, okay? We got 100 and something tickets left. Y'all need to go and get them tickets before they sell out, okay? We are two months away from the show, and I cannot wait to party with y'all in Miami. Please, we are about to head over to TashaKLive.com for our formal exclusives, okay? Yes, we got the wine on everybody, all right? Carlissa, Blueface, Krishan, Krishan's sister, the nephew, the whole Hills Have Eyes blended family, okay? We're going to be discussing all that and much more coming up right after this show on TashaKLive.com. So we should start around 9... What? 9.30, okay? So hurry on up. Get on over there. I love y'all. If you didn't like this video, uh, you can cuss my ass out. Anyway, that's...